This is my flower, and I wrote about the rights that they didn't have in the residential schools. The initial idea came from an uh, intermediate teachers meeting that we had, and we were discussing ways to honor Week for Truth and Reconciliation. So that sort of evolved into a bulletin board display. Some teachers would take a storybook, an Indigenous storybook, and from there they created artworks and poetry, uh, written responses. Some teachers focused on the rights of the child, um, Indigenous ways of learning. And from there, we've asked um, primary classes to come down and do what we're calling a gallery walk, so and intermediate classes. Um, and we're just hoping that when they come down with their teachers, it'll spur more discussion, more questions around truth and reconciliation. This is the medicine wheel. The white means mental, the yellow means spiritual, the red means emotional, and the black means physic. My picture is about the book Water Protectors. We draw flowers um, and hummingbirds to create like a scene. It's about uh, a, what? a pipes running through First yeah. Nations people's territory and ruining their water, spoiling it. And, and they have to boil their water every single day. And they, they fight for their land and their culture. We created these beautiful flowers based on our understanding of the core principles of the Convention of the Right of the Child. And in respect and remembrance of the residential school survivors and for those who have passed. Because like they did something really wrong to torture those kids, yeah. tell them to like cut their hair and not speak their own language. It's like they're taking away their identity and trying to make them the same. If we didn't know, know it, nothing would change. Because the more we know, the more change we can give. So we don't forget the stuff that happened in the past. And so we don't do it again.